welcome back to a new video. So we're doing a mod tonight. We're going to be installing a new hood scoop. Now, if you guys realize I was running the VIS Racing V2 carbon fiber hood uh, for the past year or so. Uh, I got it in March. I've been running it ever since. Love that hood. But an opportunity came up where somebody really, really wanted uh, to you know, buy the hood off of me for a good deal. Uh, so I ended up selling it off. And to be completely honest, as much as I love the carbon hood, uh, I'm really happy to be back to the OEM hood. I think it just, I mentioned this in another video, but for how I have the car set up, I think the OEM hood just works better. Um, it cleans things up a lot and I, uh, I'm really digging the look. Now, my original plan was to paint the carbon hood uh, and leave the vents exposed, which honestly I think would have looked really, really good. But either way, I'm super happy with the uh, choice to uh, ditch the carbon hood and go back to OEM. And prior to having that carbon hood, what I actually did for my OEM hood was run a carbon hood scoop. I like the idea of kind of breaking it up a little bit, adding a little bit of uh, pop, a little bit of contrast in the, in the actual hood scoop. Um, since that is a very prominent uh, feature of the WRX and STI. I always felt this generation, the hood scoop, was always a little too small. If you look at previous generations like the Blob Eye and uh, the Hawkeye, the actual hood scoop was just so much larger. It was much more prominent, and I love that. And having the scoop uh, stand out a little bit more on the OEM hood, I feel like is something uh, that the car needs. So the last hood scoop that I ran, carbon fiber hood scoop, uh, was from Revel GT. Now that was actually just a carbon uh, overlay. So it was a carbon piece that you just stuck onto the OEM hood scoop. While it looked really good, you know, the fitment was okay. There's a few areas, especially in the corner right here. Um, you can sort of kind of see it over here. Um, it kind of chipped it a little bit, which I wasn't crazy about. While it looked good, it just, you know, it kind of irks me that it was something that you're putting on top uh, of a painted piece. I wanted something that you completely replaced the whole entire hood scoop. Um, and I think it would fit a little better and, and overall just look better. So I looked around for a while and I came across a full carbon OEM style hood scoop. So if you see, if you look on the bottom, it has all the screws and everything necessary. So this is a full replacement. It is not an overlay. It's not something that you're gonna stick on. We're actually going to remove the stock hood scoop here and put that in. So I'm not sure how the fitment is on this. We're going to find out in this video. I will go over everything, show you all the details, all the corners and all that, so you guys can get a good idea of exactly how this one fits. I picked it up from my buddy over at WRX Daily. Uh, at the end of this video, depending on the fitment and if I'm gonna recommend it or not, uh, I'll leave you guys a discount code so you can get a few bucks off of your order. Um, it'll also be in the description below. So hang tight for that. Let's uh, see how the fitment is first and just how everything works. And then, um, like I said, if it's good enough, I'll give you guys a discount code. I don't wanna steer you in the wrong direction and say, hey, get this, um, you know, if it doesn't fit well. So we'll check the fitment once we get to it. Uh, but what we're actually going to be doing tonight, um, just to get a head start, because I wanna ceramic coat this, make sure it's protected, just so the carbon stays nice and fresh looking and looks like this. Uh, basically forever <laughs> so what we're going to do is first remove the oem hood scoop here um, and then we're going to go over here and coat this with my go-to uh, g technic csl and then exo let's go ahead and start on the oem hood scoop let's remove that it's pretty straightforward pretty simple um, you got to remove the heat shielding uh, on the inside of the hood and then there's just a couple bolts so so let's go ahead and get that started <music> off as you can see it's over there i did a quick test fit off camera just to see how things you know worked with the new one it fits really really well um, the only issue is is the hardware that it comes with all these allen screws are too short uh, basically where it actually needs to reach um, it just won't grab it's the the, the screw is not long enough uh, so i went through my bolt spin and i was able to find uh other Allen screws that are just a little bit longer and um, actually do the job. So if we look at here, you can kind of see the height difference there. Um, it's probably about a quarter inch bigger, uh, but that's all you need for it to grab on. And you only need to use three of them because um, on the back here, if you see all the screw holes, there's one, two, three, four, five. These back two, you don't even use. There's nowhere for them to actually screw into. So you only need the front three. And if you look on the back here, it's you know open. And the reason why that part is open is because it actually slips over the metal right here. So it kind of clamps onto it. 
holds it really well. I might throw some uh, 3M tape on the underside on the back here um, just for added reassurance, but I bolted it down and it fit really, really well. Honestly, I don't even think I need the 3M tape back here, uh, but it's, you know, just me. I might just do it just because, uh, but overall it fit really well. So now what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to clean up the OEM hood scoop so I can store it away. So it's nice and clean. Um, and then we're going to actually decon this just by wiping it down with some Geon prep, which is basically an IPA. Because the better that you prep the surface of whatever you're ceramic coating, the better the ceramic coat is going to turn out as well as last. Let me go ahead, clean this up, get it in the box, get it stored away, and then we can get started on the carbon one. CSL complete, super simple. If you never ceramic coated anything, um, literally just wipe it on, wipe it off. But obviously it's all in the prep work. Ceramic coating is basically a layer of glass over the surface. So if there's any defects or any swirls or anything underneath that, they're gonna stay there uh, you know, pretty much forever until the uh, ceramic coat starts to fail, which this one, CSL and XO, it lasts at least two years. It's only gonna be a few seconds for you guys, obviously, but um, it's gonna be a full two hours for me. After that, I'm gonna come back out, do the first layer of XO, and then I'm gonna wait overnight to let it cure, and then I'm gonna throw another layer of XO on uh, tomorrow morning to get it knocked out, and then we can install it tomorrow night. So it is actually the same day. I decided to stay up a little bit later than I was anticipating and get the ceramic coating done because that way it's going to have a full 24 hours for it to cure so I can wash the car tomorrow night. Uh, so we'll be good there. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the car now. Uh, really, really simple. Uh, I kind of showed you earlier in the video that we're only going to be using the top three holes. Uh, on the back, there's a slot that fits right over the actual uh, hood scoop right here. So as you can see, this little metal piece here, it wraps around that, so it stays on nice. All right, let's go ahead, throw this on the car. It came out beautiful, it looks great. Um, with ceramic coating, this one especially, it gets better and better as it cures. So it's gonna look even nicer uh, by tomorrow. <laughs> All right guys, so here is the final fitment. You do have the option to kind of move it around a little bit. And uh, this is where I found to fit the best. Um, you know, obviously it's not OEM, but it does fit very, very well. The gapping around everything is very, very even. It's very nice. Um, it's not OEM, um, but you know, to be expected obviously with an aftermarket part. So let's uh, take a look around the back side of it. So you can get an idea um, with the Rebel GT one that I ran that stuck onto the OEM scoop. It bumped up a little bit, so you're able to see uh, kind of a little bit of a gap. But this one sits nice and flush, nice and even, which is really nice. And um, I'm really happy about that. So this one obviously just fits way better than the uh, Rebel GT one that I put had on the hood prior. Um, and it looks really good. The, the carbon fiber weave is nice. There's no weird poles or anything. And also the weave is going this way. My grill's going this way and the lip is going this way. So it's all even. I can't stand when people put carbon on their cars and the weaves are all going different directions. Um, you know, keeping it nice and unison looks really good. So once again, uh, this is the exact setup that I had prior to my VIS uh, racing V2 carbon hood. Um, and again, I really do love the look of this. It's the right amount of aggression without going over the top, I think. You know, it really breaks up the hood. It gives it a little bit more of an aggressive front end. Um, and then plus this matches all the carbon, so it's really nice. Um, I do need to throw all the uh, hood scoop and the heat shield and stuff back in, which you know I can do off camera. You guys don't need to see me do that. Uh, but I'll show you once I'm done with the hood closed, just the final result. Not that it's gonna be much different than this. The hood's popped up a little bit right now, so that's just 
Don't worry about the gap. But really, really happy with this. It turned out really great. I'm really uh, stoked on the fitment. I was kind of uh, a little bit weary on that because I know a lot of carbon parts uh, out that are out there. There's so many these days with all different brands. Uh, fitment is a really big issue. So I would definitely recommend this. I'm gonna put a discount code at the end of this video for you guys if you're interested in picking one of these up or anything else from uh, WRX Daily. So stay tuned for the end of the video for the discount. But let me go ahead, put all this stuff under the hood back on. And we'll wrap the video up. Here's a little bit of a bird's eye view so you can get the uh, full picture of it. Absolutely beautiful. Love the way carbon looks on lapis. You know, it stands out just enough where you notice it, but it's not like in your face. You know, something like a white where it's a little bit more noticeable. But I love carbon on blue cars. I think it looks amazing. Uh, and this hood scoop is fantastic. If you guys are interested in picking up this exact hood scoop, all you got to do is go to wrxdaily.com. And then you can use my discount code SUBIFREAK86 and it gets 5% off of your order. Now you don't just have to buy the hood scoop, you can buy a bunch of other stuff. He has a lot of other really nice things that you can get for these cars. Um, so check it out, do some shopping, use my discount code to save you a few bucks. Um, and it's definitely worth it. This got to me in three days, super fast shipping. It was in stock, which was great because uh, I was actually looking for one and everywhere I looked, they were out of stock. Uh, so he got it to me super fast. Great deal, and it fits fantastic, and it obviously looks really good. So that is all I got for you guys. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.